Hello, welcome back. NBC Sports for Friday, January 14th reveal that Lucas returned to Salem to testify at the EJ trial. NBC says that Lucas Horton framed EJ, and he was the one who held Sammy hostage for months. But Lucas insists he does it for love. He couldn't bear the thought that she wanted to work with EJ after their marriage. Lucas returned to Salem today to testify against his opponent. Will his lies about EJ behind bars? Or does his cover story shed some light? Talk about a bad idea. However, Lucas couldn't help himself. Truth be told, Chad's plan was derailed. How can he stand up for EJ with Lucas starting around? Meanwhile, Nancy Wesley returned to Salem with news of her daughter on January 14th. Sources suggest Nancy's marriage to Dr. Craig Wesley has ended. Years ago, the doctor and his wife seemed to be like a close-knit couple. However, Nancy Wesley's relationship is currently in trouble. Chloe is shocked and what will happen next. Watch Nancy Wesley rock things up for Chloe this Friday. Ultimately, NBC teased that Gabby, Jake, and Maggie wouldn't make a deal for this one episode. And you can see how Jake and Gabby think Maggie can be the influence on her husband, even though she won't be able to sign any contracts on her own. You learn that Victor really has a weak heart and that he's been under a lot of stress lately, with Philip missing and presumed dead. Although Victor knew Philip wasn't dead, Maggie knew nothing about it. Maggie tells Gabby and Jake that she will try to convince Victor to sign their proposal. And you'll find Maggie making sure Gabby and Jake understand that it's unlikely he'll sign the contract. But she certainly points out the advantage of such a deal for Victor. Thanks for watching our videos. Goodbye.